Oracle Cloud Infrastructure makes it quick and easy for you to get started as a developer. We offer an extensive set of services, including managed Kubernetes and Terraform, serverless functions, API management, autonomous database, and DevOps tooling. Of course, you can use all of your favorite languages, tools, and open source technologies on OCI. Now, there's a lot to explore, but today I'd like to show you how easy it is to get started with the simple Hello World app. I'll click the Create a VM Instance button to create my new Compute Instance. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call mine Demo. And I'll scroll down here and I'll paste in my public SSH key and I'll hit Create. This will take a couple minutes to provision the new instance, so I will edit out some of the wait times. A virtual network card is being attached to our new instance, and you can see there we have a public IP address already assigned. And our new instance is up and running. For my app, I need to open up port 5000, so I'll click Public Subnet. Then when I'm in the subnet, I'll scroll down and click on the default security list. I'll scroll down, you can see port 5000 is not here. I'll click add ingress rule. I'll put in a bunch of zeros for the CIDR. I'll put in the port that I want to open, which is 5000. Add the ingress rule, and you can see the new rule is there. And I'll click back to the instance. Now I want to SSH into the instance using the OPC username and the public IP address. So I'll open the cloud shell and I will adjust the font size and maximize the shell to make it a little easier to see. So the command is SSH OPC, which was our user at the public IP address. Uh, yes, I do want to connect to the instance. And now that we're connected, I'm going to clear the output. Next, we need to open the port in the Linux firewall. So the command is firewall command, permanent, public, and the port that I want to open. Once that's done, then I'll reload the firewall to make it take effect. And once that's done, I will clear the output. All right, time to make a Flask app. So first up, I'll create a directory called Flask example, and then I'll switch into the directory. And once I'm in the directory, I'll create a virtual environment called VENV using Python VENV. Uh, as soon as that's made, I will activate the environment. You can see here that it's active. Now I will use pip install flask to create a flat or to install flask. And now that that's done, I'll use nano to create a new Python file called flaskexample.py. I'll paste my app in, and I'll have it listen on the default port, which is 5000. I use control X to exit the exit nano. I'll hit yes and hit enter to save it. Then to run my new app, I'll type in python flaskexample.py. And you can see the app is up and running. I already have a browser tab open to the public IP for the compute instance at port 5000. I'll just click reload and here you can see the app is up and running. And that's it. I hope that the demo was helpful. You can sign up for the Oracle Cloud free tier to try out the OCI developer services and tools for yourself. Thank you for spending your time with me.